I don't, honestly, it's a lot of poor folk and middle class folk that's, that's getting killed in this racist shit. The, this black the this black lives matter movement um the the black lives matter but um how how's he gonna say that uh it seems it seems like there's a lot of people <clears throat> that really ain't doing shit and it seems like the people that are doing shit are either raising hell, or they're trying to live their lives, or they're trying to prove something, or they're trying to make money to feed their families and pay their bills. Um, black black lives do matter. To me, they do, because I like to love black women. My family and my people, my my city, my state, America. The world, heaven and hell, don't seem to understand that. Yo, know, that that girl that that my last girlfriend that was black, we hung out for like, like what o over twenty four hours. It's me and her. Well, her kid was her daughter was there playing video games. She was there for like two hours, and we're just chilling. Her daughter. You know, her daughter was laughing with me, and she was happy to see me. Uh, it was cool with me, but her, the, one of the family members came and got the daughter, so it was just me and her, my black girlfriend. We chilled for like over 24 hours. We had a good time. We talked. Most, watched, we watched uh, uh, Death Row uh, Uncut. She And he had twerking and shit on her. She's like, oh my God, I ain't never seen that. I'm like, you're black. You ain't never seen this shit. She's like, you know, it's like I don't know if she if she is bullshit me, or she knew about it and she thought like, like, like I was trying to prove some, like, like, oh, Chris don't know about this shit. But she was good to me and I was good to her. There wasn't no, there wasn't. We didn't discuss blacks and whites. We didn't discuss. It was like we we we, we was me and that me and that girl was married for like ten years. And that was my daughter. And we just, it was like, I worked all day and came home and we just chilled and kicked it. We got tired, laid down, had sex, went to sleep, woke up. We hung out for a little bit. I came home. And that was it. It was, it was just like a, it was like a whole 10 year marriage in less than uh, over 24 hours. We didn't discuss about getting drugs or alcohol or getting turned up or twerking, we we listened to some, she put play some uh, like a uh, some Marvin Gaye or some some like the 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 you know some older um like black music like soft like love music. We watched the uh, uh, uh some other like love movie black movie. Then we watched the Death Rock. It was this. It was like a, a normal like average relationship. And we got like she went she went upstairs, got in the tub, got got cleaned up. I sat there, sat sat on the couch, watched TV. She made me a couple cups of coffee, we smoked cigarettes, you know. Just a, it was I mean, you know, we 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 actually we didn't really we didn't know each other. But when we, we met we're like we it's like we knew each other forever. We had a good time. That that's that's just my scenario, but we all know what's going on in the world, and I don't. I really don't think. I really don't think it's. I don't think it's racist. If you read the Bible, you like Pike said that that song. It's a love and hate relationship. It's a love and hate relationship, but that's the thug's nature. There's a, a lot of people see me and these black girls on social media they argue. Is what they don't is what they don't see is when we get along and shit's going good. A lot of people see the issues about me not getting along with people and arguing with black chicks, but we don't always argue. And God and Satan ain't always beefing. 
of people in the world are. A lot of people that are poor and middle class just don't want to go through the process of getting money legal and legitimate. I'm not, I'm talking about all, all races, all nationalities, poor folks in middle class. They don't want to do anything proper or significant in the world other than gimme, gimme, gimme. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Fuck them. I'm jealous. They got more shit than me. I got to, and a lot of poor folk, they just go on a mission to get rich and get materialistics just to prove that we're rich. We got nice cars of money. I'm like, yeah, but you did it because you saw somebody have something. The only reason you did it is because you saw somebody that has something. And you, and you, and you know, you, it appealed to you. It didn't come natural. You got it because it appealed to you. Maybe the black woman just came natural to me. Maybe this life is this natural. Maybe, maybe my whole history of life appeals to the world. Appeals to everybody. Everybody wants to keep pace. Everybody wants to have more than me. Everybody wants to be tougher. Everybody wants to have better raps. Uh, they want to take my, they want to kill, steal, and destroy for me because they got jealous of what, what came natural to me, how, how I was manifested and raised by God. When the, when my life appealed to them, they, they ain't destroy, Satan ain't destroying me. God, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Ghost are going to get me through this. My whole temple with eternal life. And a half a million and some, and some young, beautiful, good-looking black women that are of age and grown. And it's going to be legal and legitimate and appropriate relationships.